Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, overall, we were, we were embarrassed in the first period. Uh, you know, came out and didn't uh, didn't come ready to play, and they did, and, and uh, they, they took it to us pretty good in the first uh, first 20 minutes, and couldn't get out of our own way, and didn't uh, win any puck battles, and uh, we're really disappointed with how we came focused, ready to play on the second night here, and, and uh, um, you said know, the game not too often you can turn it around. We came out in the second, and, and then started getting going a little bit, and. and uh, 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 the special teams were key. Uh, again, we're one for one tonight. You know, one, well, one was a three-second power play, so one for one for one in the power play, and, and had to kill six. And um, you know, I, I just think that uh, being strong over top of the puck is going to pay dividends for us later on down the road. I mean, I think that a lot of calls we, you know, in the game, and in the course of that game, you, you stay strong, you stay on your feet, and you end up getting goals like we did with Sean Collins in front of the net, and uh, guys coming to the net, and. and uh, um, yeah, so it's uh, we're lucky. We're lucky to be able to come back and turn it up in the second period, and then you know overall I thought in the third period with you know other the shots came on the power play, and I thought we did a good job of uh, you know making some big block shots at the end uh, to preserve the shutout for Andy. But Andy was uh, Andy was just so much more, more calmer, uh, solid this weekend. Um, you know he was uh, strong down low and on case stuffs and and scrambles around the net. He did a tremendous job of of. Uh, you know, maintaining his composure, not opening up and, and being patient. And, uh, and so I thought he did, he did a great job. He was outstanding. So you're seeing the puck better. You, know, you, you see that from him, that he's finding the puck and then staying his ground. Yeah, I mean, just, I mean, just the confidence of him. I say, I think he's fighting through traffic a little more. And, and uh, uh, you know, he's done. I say, just uh, you can see the confidence in him and, and how quiet his, his body positioning was tonight. Uh, uh, over the first, you know, few years, he's so so competitive, you know, as a kid. So to have back-to-back -back shutouts, uh, um, you know, it's a great, great job. And um, but we didn't. Uh, he, he he earned it tonight. I mean, he earned it last night too. But you know, we didn't play nearly as well uh, that we should have. Mike, how do you get out shot 32 to 14 and win a game four nothing? Well, I, I think once you get up in the, in the game, I mean, uh, you, you look at the third period. You start to, the first period was a. Uh, and it was embarrassment. The shots were 13 to three. But it came out in the second period, and you know it's a you know a period where again the, the, you know they, they generate a lot of their offense on you know, chances off the power play, and uh, then we score the goal, make it one nothing, two nothing. Then we, we the big goal to make it three nothing on our power play, um, and that, therefore from there on in you're, you're 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 doing a good job of trying to you know limit chances, and <coughs> we didn't you know stay above people and. And we talk about you know not taking chances to go for our offense rather than making sure we have lots of guys back. And we, and we did that tonight in, in the third. But you're, when you do that, you're, you are going to give up scoring chances. But most of their, their, their a lot of their shots came um, a lot of the shots came on the power play in the, in the third period. They, they had a span there where they had uh, um, you know two power plays in the third. Lose my eyesight. Yeah. Yeah. Two power plays, but. You know, as I said, we, we stayed strong on our feet, and, and you know, a lot of penalties I thought were, were plays where guys went down and they drew calls. Now that, that was one of our point of emphasis, not to let us get into that kind of game, but uh, we did a good job of telling them. Uh, so, Coach, just sort of you mentioned, and he played the World Juniors, but he was one of the best goalies out there. Is this what you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, this is exactly what we saw in the summer. Uh, I thought he was by far the best goalie in camp. And, uh, very similar, played big, big in, uh, in, in the games and the strong down low and scrambles. Uh, you know, a lot of confidence. I think we just continue to see his game, you know, grow. He's a 92 birthday, and you, know, you see a lot of guys on our team that are young guys, and they're just going to continue to get better and better. Uh, you know, a lot of our guys that come in and aren't, aren't 20 years old. You know, they're they're young, and, and so there's a room for a lot of growth uh, within our season. So uh, hopefully we'll learn our lesson here today about the way we can ready to play, but. Um, you know, he, he's exactly what I saw of him in the, in, in the summer. Anything else? Is this weekend evidence that the freshmen in your lineup are learning your defensive system? He's been allowing progressively fewer goals each weekend out there. Well, I, I think that uh, uh, we're still a long ways away, not just the freshmen, but all our guys. And, and uh, you know, there's just a lot of things that in the third period that you know, we didn't do a very good job of. Uh, you know, Clint Jack is pretty good in transition. Uh, caught us early in the, in the first period, but, um, you know, we made some adjustments in the, in the, in the second period, and, uh, you know, in the second period, and carried that over to the third, so, yeah, they're, they're getting it, they're a great hockey sense, so, 
um, when we made adjustments in the second period, that the whole team on the hockey sense, you know, we're able to to take those to the ice surface. But the biggest thing we said we can make as many adjustments as we want, but we don't start working. It's going to be a long late, and we did. Were you able to use Coach Sire as a particular advantage tonight? Uh, I, I don't think there's a whole lot of uh, secrets in, in hockey, and I think that you know, I think Ben is a. I've been there before as an assistant coach. Or when you move from team to team and you're playing against former players, uh, it's tough. You know, Ben's a, a tremendous uh, coach, and, and uh, he's got a lot of respect for you know Quinnipiac and the players, and knew they'd be excited to come in here and play. So um, it was it was good to you know to win the game. But uh, he's got a lot of ties over there to the, to that hockey team, and um, you know, we're glad that he's with us.